Hello, I'm Shiba. In my previous lecture, I explained the pattern of population distribution, density of population, the components and factors influencing the population change. Today, let us begin with Lecture 2 of Chapter 2, The World Population, Density, Distribution and Growth. Now, let us learn to compute the birth rate and the death rate. To compute crude birth rate, we divide the number of live births during the year with mid-year population of the area and multiply the product by 1000. We get the crude birth rate. Similarly, if we divide the number of deaths by the estimated mid-year population of that area and multiply the product by 1000, we get the crude death rate. The population changes with the change in the death rate, birth rate and migration. There are various social and economic factors for the people to migrate from one place to another. These are called pull and the push factors. Let us quickly look into a few pull and the push factors. The push factors. Poor living conditions, political turmoil, unpleasant climate, natural disasters, epidemic, and socio-economic backwardness may cause out-migration. Hence, these may be considered as push factors. Let us look into the pull factors now. On the contrary, better jobs, better living standards, peace and stability, security of life, and property and pleasant climate are a few factors in favor of in-migration. Hence, these are the pull factors. Let us look into the graph given here, which explains the trends in the population change. The given graph shows the trends in population growth of the world from the early period to the present day. It would be convenient if we divide the timeline into a few segments. The early period recorded a gradual growth in population. The development and spread of agriculture did change the population. Nonetheless, the population growth was negligible. In the first century AD, it was less than 300 million. Let us look into the period from 1600 to 1800, which is marked by the age of European exploration, colonization, and settlement. This was the time when the voyages were made to the new lands and people dispersed in far off places. They settled there because the resources available in those regions attracted them we see a considerable increase in population. Around 1750, at the dawn of Industrial Revolution, the world population was 550 million. We see a vertical increase in the graph. Let us see when did it happen and why did it happen. The graph shows a surge in the 18th century where population exploded after the Industrial Revolution. The improved medical and sanitation facilities brought down the death rate, which triggered the growth rate. Technically, inoculation against epidemics reduced the mortality rate. The mechanization improved the agriculture and industrial production. We register a large population change even if a small annual rate is added to the existing population. Let us look into this diagram and see the doubling time of the world population. The population growth 
was gradual initially with the less developed countries. The science and technological advancement increased the growth. It almost took 100 years to double the population in the early stages. This graph shows us that the period from 1830 to 1890, the world population grew from 1 billion to 2 billion. Say, the period of 100 years, the population grew by just 1 billion. Then the doubling time reduced. The next billion people were added within a time span of 30 years, which further reduced to 15 years and then to 12 years. The pace of doubling of the population is higher in the developing countries as compared to the developed countries. There is a direct relationship between the economic development and population growth. If we compare the period of 1990 to 1995 with that of 2004 to 2005 and the growth rate during these two periods for the different continents and the regions of the world, we notice a slight decline in the growth rate of the world population as a whole. South America, Asia and Oceania, which includes Australia, New Zealand and Fiji Islands. The only continent for which the population growth rate is a notch up is Africa. The growth rate was recorded as 2.4% in 1990, 95, which rose up to 26 in the year 2004 and 2005. There is an adverse effect of population explosion on the resources. The resources are depleting due to the excessive and reckless uses by the mankind. The population growth has slowed down a bit in Africa and some parts of Commonwealth of Independent States and Asia due to deadly HIV AIDS epidemics. It is vital at this time to know the changing trends of world population. The natural resources are essential for the ever developing world because the economic development of the world depends upon the resources. To gauge the availability of resources to the ever growing population, we must keenly look into the demographic transition. This simple graph will explain to us the different demographic stages. Let us look into it. Stage one, this is the world two centuries ago. In the first stage, death rate was higher due to epidemics, droughts, and inconsistent food supplies. So to compensate the death rates, the birth rates were more. At this time, the population change was negligible. Stage two, in this stage, the birth rate remained high. Death rate decreased rapidly. It happened due to the improvement in the sanitation and health facilities. Low infant mortality rate was recorded during this time and increased quality of food grains helped the people to stay healthy and a longer life, which resulted in increased growth rate. Stage three. In the third stage of demographic transition, the birth rate declined and so the death rate. Family planning, increased literacy rate, industrialization, increased in per capita income, all these were the reasons for this stage to happen. All through the world, we witness a difference in development and so difference in the stages of demographic transition. The shift of the rural and agrarian society to the urban world is an indicator of population growth. It is well explained in this diagram. Human population control is the practice of artificially alerting the rate of growth of human population. 
The program involves measures that improve people's lives by giving them greater control of their reproduction. It includes changing status of women, financial disadvantages for large families, advertising the importance and advantages of small families, and availability of contraceptives. We're all aware of Thomas Malthus' theory. He opined that the population will increase faster than the food supply. If we fail to maintain the balance between the two, it will lead to population crash. It will result into shortage of food grain. Diseases and war will follow. Prevention is always better than cure. We need to put a strict check on population increase for the sustainability of our resources. Before we conclude the chapter, let us revise that what we have learned in this chapter. We've learned a few topics, the pull and the push factors, trends in population growth, doubling time of world population, and the demographic transition. In the next lecture, we will learn about the world population composition. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.